Wake up, little boy. Today is the big day. Tommy's stepsister, Beth, wasted no time in starting out on what promised to be a delightful day for her. Tommy, although it was his birthday, had dreaded this day since the previous Thanksgiving when his stepmother had stood, tapped her glass for everyone's attention, then stated, Dear friends, I would like to announce a delightful surprise for little Tommy on his 13th birthday next February 2nd. Many of you have commented on how frail and effeminate my stepson is. Quite a few of you have also stated that he might look better in skirts. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I intend to do just that. Next February 2nd I will turn out Tommy completely as a girl. We will refer to her as Trish. The assemblage broke into shouts and applause while the blood drained from Tommy's face. His father had remarried only weeks before his death. With all his father's money willed to his bride, Tommy was obliged to obey the shrewish woman and her insufferable daughter. Since that Thanksgiving announcement, not a day went by that the two females didn't remark on his upcoming feminization. Beth began hanging her hand-me-downs in Tommy's closet. On Christmas morning, the sissy received a complete set of girls' hosiery, lingerie, and makeup. During the month of January, he was fitted by dressmakers and corsetiers. He had been put on a strict diet beginning New Year's Day and was losing weight quickly. Coming back to the present, the small boy rolled out of bed and into his bathroom. Dejectedly, he tugged on a t-shirt and jeans before walking down to breakfast. He was given his vitamins as well as his customary grapefruit half. After eating he was sent back to his room to change into a buttoned shirt so you don't mess up your coif. He was driven to an exclusive beauty salon where he was given the works. After four hours he was finished. Still wearing the tiny pink robe, his stepmother was inspecting the results. All of his body hair had been waxed off. He now sported long ceramic nails, lacquered in the same plum shade as his toenails. His ears had been pierced and now accommodated small gold studs. His long brown hair had been dyed blonde and set into a sophisticated French twist. His eyebrows had been plucked and his face had been made up dramatically. He changed back into his shirt and jeans before being let out into the sunshine. One glance at his reflection in the shop's window revealed a complete sissy made up just like a girl. His stepmother smirked as people openly gawked at the pretty boy. Back at home, Beth gushed at her new sister. Upstairs, Tommy was ordered to strip and the real transformation began. A specially made padded corset was clipped around his waist and laced down until the edges met. By pulling some of his chest flesh up into the waiting cups, actual cleavage resulted. She skillfully applied some dark blusher to enhance the illusion. A flap, as well as six garters, still hung down from the foundation. The flaps used became apparent as the woman gently pressed his testicles up into their cavity, arranged his small penis back between his legs, and then held everything in place with the flap which snapped to the rear edge of the corset. Satisfied with his emasculation, she teased him by waving a lacy pair of nylon panties in his face. Aren't these just darling, Trish? Your first panties. What a delightfully feminine experience. She had him step into each leg hole before she slowly raised the pink panties up into position. She took quite a long time picking and smoothing the pretty panties. Finally satisfied, she bestowed a lingering kiss on the lacy front panel. Oh Trish, you're really harmless now, aren't you? We girls are certainly safe from your tiny baby maker. She opened a new package of silky pink stockings and soon had the fussing boy wearing them. She adjusted each garter to a uniform tautness. Now, Trish, I expect you to keep your hosiery wrinkle-free. It was time for his first dress. He hadn't seen it before this moment. His stepmother had chosen to put his in a pink cocktail dress for his feminine debut. He was obliged to raise his arms while the dress was carefully lowered into position. He experienced the totally feminine feeling of his rear zipper being raised before the halter top was snapped behind his neck. He stepped into a pair of strappy pink pumps and found his balance while his stepmother exchanged his simple earrings for large gold hoops. Rings and bracelets followed. After a spritz with perfume, Trish was ready for the world. 
he finally get to see himself in a floor-length mirror and noted with rejection that he really did make a better girl than boy. Silently, he was led into the dining room. Squeals of delight from the women and guffaws from the men greeted his entrance. He spent the entire day dressed as a girl. At bedtime, his stepmother helped him out of the unfamiliar garments and removed his makeup. She and her daughter watched expectantly as Tommy returned from the bathroom and opened his closet. It was now filled with girls' wear. His bureau also was devoid of anything boyish. The females noted the exact moment when the truth hit him. Tommy was gone and Trish was here. On dates he would be the one wearing skirts. He would be getting up earlier in the morning to take care of his hair and makeup. His stepmother broke the silence. Oh Trish, you will be much happier this way. And by the way, you and Beth are double dating next Friday. Sweet dreams.